Hello, eDraw enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, where creativity thrives and innovation knows no bounds. As a part of our 10th anniversary celebration, we're thrilled to launch a special campaign. With every video release, we'll be selecting five winners every two weeks to receive a monthly license for either eDrawMind or eDrawMax. To participate, simply comment on the video with your answer to the question posed at the end or any related to the discussed topic and make sure to follow our account. But that's not all. When we reach 30,000 followers, 10 lucky winners will receive an annual license valued up to $99. Share this fantastic news with your friends and together you all could be winners of eDraw licenses, unlocking a world of productivity through our powerful diagramming tools. In today's video, we will learn how to make a beautiful flowchart using the best diagramming software named eDraw Max. This video will highlight a detailed guide on how you can create a flowchart using this flowchart software. It's built in templates and editing capabilities. Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel where we educate you on expressing your creativity via diagrams. Flowcharts tend to be useful in educational institutes for learning as well as teaching, software development, and consultation purposes via creative shapes. These help students with better comprehension of information, creative representation, documentation, problem solving, and more. Without further delay, let's dive into how to draw flowcharts with GPT using this flowchart software. So first of all, eDraw Max has launched its new V13 update. And once you have downloaded the software on your device, you can navigate towards the left panel, click on templates option and access its template library. In the template gallery, you can use the search bar and look for flowchart. From the appearing options, choose a template and click on the business process flowchart. By doing this, you can have a pre-made editable template to create a flowchart to employ in any of your required niches. Now that you are aware of the basics of this flowchart software, let's look into some other ways of creating a flowchart diagram. Another basic and renowned method to create a flowchart is via Microsoft PowerPoint. Whether you are a professional or an academic, you must have been aware of this diagram making software. It transforms your plain data into beautiful diagrams or helps with the visual representation of data in the form of presentation slides, flowcharts, animations, and more. One of the effective ways of conveying information is via the use of flowcharts as the colorful diagramming and prominence of information keep the audience attentive and help in memorizing information better. Here is how to create a beautiful diagram in PowerPoint. Step one, once you have opened PowerPoint and created a blank presentation, you can navigate towards the blank slide and right click on it. Select the format background option from the drop down menu below. Next, from the panel appearing at the right side corner, click on the type of fill you want for your flow charts, diagram, background, and then expand the color option to choose a color. Then you can navigate towards the design tab at the custom toolbar, click on the variance navigation section, and in the color options, choose a color scheme of your choice. As you can see, there are many to choose from here. So let's select one of these right here. Maybe this uh, color section is something you can pick from. I can pick something like blue, green, or blue two, one of these, and it'll completely change the theme. Next, what you can do is you can go to the top left of the screen and click on the insert option here. You can choose a shape that you would like for your flowchart, like a circle, rectangle, or more. Here, I'm choosing the rectangle and circle shapes for creating a flowchart. Quickly drag the box here and it gets started with the first step. And furthermore, you can go to the spot again and grab a circle. And you'll see right here that essentially I'm just grabbing and making multiple of these in order to create a flowchart. Furthermore, after selecting something like this circle, you can change their colors for a better visual outlook. So if I go and click on this right here, it'll adjust it to being a white color. You can repeat the same process to add similar shapes for your flowcharts. And meanwhile, change the colors for a better visual outlook. For detailed editing like a gradient fill, you can right click on the shape and select format shape from the drop down menu. As you can see right here, as I'm finishing up this entirety of the flowchart, once I click on this and right click and go to format chart and go to format shape, then we can click on the gradient fill option and create a custom gradient within here. So picking this, you'll notice that the blue pops a lot more since it is a gradient. There are a myriad of 
preset settings, gradient intensity, color position, and transparency settings as well. Furthermore, if you navigate towards the insert tab and click on the text box option, as you can see right here, I'm making a lot of different adjustments to the gradient and there's many different ones to choose from. So clicking through all these, pick on myriad of different colors, as well as make your own custom ones too. Furthermore, if you navigate towards the insert tab and click on the text box option in the insert section, you can add a text of your choice in the text box. You can set its font color and position it on the shapes according to the design you have in mind. In a similar manner, you can add numbers and text information to your flowcharts, and you can duplicate these shapes and personalize them accordingly. Once you have duplicated these shapes and edited them according to the content, you can transform the flowchart into an animated flowchart. After we type out the final parts of this, we're going to duplicate the slide on another blank slide and adjust their positions. In order to do this, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is go to the left side here. First, we're going to actually press duplicate slide here. And then from there, if we want to, we can add a transition so that when we change between these two, that there is a nice little transition like this fade one right here. You can duplicate the shapes of the first slide and third slide and experiment with their positions to enhance the creativity of the flowchart and make more transitions to have it be an even more beautiful experience. No doubt you can create an illustrative flowchart in PowerPoint. However, the drawback is that it has a limited number of shapes and you have to do everything manually. Moreover, the positioning options are limited in PowerPoint and hence the alignment isn't exactly smooth. And as an alternative to flowchart design in PowerPoint, we can use eDraw Max, which has an extensive template library for this purpose. You have now seen that even though PowerPoint is a pretty commonly used method for creating basic flowchart presentations, it has some downsides. On the other hand, eDraw Max is the perfect software with numerous editable and creative templates and answers on how to make a beautiful flowchart. Since we are talking about beauty here, let's see what else this software has in the room for us. Since the shape options were limited in PowerPoint, there is no lack in eDraw Max as it offers users three categories of shapes and symbols to work with. For instance, if you create a flowchart manually using the software, there are some tips to bring diversity to your content. Using the symbols tab in the custom toolbar, you can locate the basic shapes and select a shape from there. You can find some basic shapes here like rectangles, ovals, and more. And further, if you navigate towards the left side of the panel, you can see the more symbols option and find multiple categories and subcategories of flowchart symbols in here. Some of the major categories include business, project management, software, engineering, science, and more. Following that, if you go to the basic smart shapes category, you can find more colorful shapes and symbols to enhance your flowchart. As you can see here, the options are unlimited and you cannot enjoy such diverse symbols while making a flowchart in PowerPoint. In addition, if you want to select multiple shapes at once, just press the shift key from your keyboard and select the shapes. This isn't only what eDraw Max offers to users when it comes to shapes and symbols. The smart shapes range from circular chart shaping to list shapes. When it comes to displaying complete procedures across the flowchart, you can utilize the process steps smart shapes. You might also remember the food pyramid that we used to study in our middle school subjects. If you're looking to create a flow chart like that, use the pyramid charts with ease. As you can see right here, if we go to the basic section again, go to smart shapes, we can pick on pyramid chart and select one of these. And then we have exactly something that looks like a food pyramid. Lastly, eDraw Max also provides dedicated support for managing Venn diagrams, which is very cool. Venn diagrams are exquisite content that we can create across this platform. For instance, if you have selected the wrong symbol for the flowchart and feel that this isn't the right one, you can select the wrong shape, select the new symbol or shape, right click on it, and from the drop down menu, choose the replace selected shape option here at the top. So viewers, you can assume the diversity of eDraw Max just from its collection of shapes, symbols, and flowchart templates. In the symbols tab, you'll see another excellent feature named 
pen tool at the start. By employing this tool, users can create any shape of their choice and mold it into something beautiful. For instance, here I am employing the pen tool to give you an idea of how to create a beautiful diagram. Once you have selected this tool, you must draw on your screen and double click to save the action. Suppose that you have created a process map diagram and now you want to save it as a template for future implications. As you can see, I've just made this, making some more things here like a triangle and then double clicking off, it makes the shape. So for this purpose, what you can do is go to the home page, and then I can click save as, go to personal templates, name the template, so like my template one, for example, and then press okay to complete the action. Now, eDraw Max is all about customizations, and one of the best parts of using it is that you can create a personal collection of your edited or made from scratch templates here. In this section, let's see how to access your saved templates using the software. For this purpose, go to the home option from the left side panel of the main menu. Scroll down until you see the template collection sections from the given sections, go to the personal templates collection and choose the templates you saved. For instance, here I am choosing the template I've previously created and adding text to it using the software's flowchart with AI option. You can go to the AI tab in the custom toolbar and select the flowchart option. Further, ask this flowchart with AI feature to generate content according to your topic. Later, you can copy and paste this content into the flowchart symbols or shapes. Another method of personalizing a template in this diagramming software is via the import functionality. From the left side panel at the main menu, click the import option and select from the given options, Visio, CAD, and SVG. This means you can import a template in any of the available formats, save it, and use it as a personal template. Moreover, the software offers a batch import option via Visio, which means it maintains a productive workflow. Once you have customized and created a flowchart presentation, you can export it in multiple formats for accessibility. For this, you can go to the home and then export and send section and click on the available formats. We can export a file in nine formats, including PDF, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more. Before exporting, I can customize the aspect ratio of the flowchart software, its name, and other options. Moreover, you can share a personal template or a flowchart with AI using its send email option, which is right at the bottom. You can see right here, if I click on it, press send email, I can send an email out. Now, you're aware of this software flowchart with AI and other customization options to enhance your content. Now, I'll take this up a notch and show you how you can further customize the shapes and symbols for a flowchart. For this, right-click on the shape you want to customize and click on the Shape Format option from the drop-down menu. In the right side Settings panel, you can choose the Fill, Line, and Shadow options for your flowchart. You can choose the type, color, and intensity of the shape fill. In addition, you can choose the pattern or even texture of the fill. For editing the borders of these shapes, choose the line section and employ the custom settings option from there. So if I click right here, you can see I can easily change the line settings here. And not only this, but furthermore, you can actually add shadows to these boxes using the shadow section. So if we go to the top right once again, here you can select the style of shadow, its size, color, and more. If you want to apply the same settings to all of your shapes, you can select all of them with the help of the shift key and your cursor and start editing. Moreover, you can use your cursor to adjust the position of the shapes via the drag functionality by grabbing them all at once. Similarly, you can select all of the shapes at once and choose the align function to bring a uniform outlook to your flowchart. Moreover, you can click any shape and employ the available options at the custom toolbar and at the left and right side panels. If you wish to add in complete templates to your flowchart designs or utilize the best ones during brainstorming, eDraw Max makes accessibility to flowchart templates easier. Lead the insert tab and look for template option in the protruding toolbar. Navigate through the entire categories of flowchart templates and select the best one that fulfills your needs. 
As we discussed, eDraw Max V13 has already launched, which has made the creation of flowcharts absolutely so much easier. It also has an AI flowchart option that follows your instructions and crafts an automated and editable flowchart. For instance, if you consider going across creating AI flowcharts on eDraw Max, you can easily select the popular charts option after navigating across AI flowchart system and specifically select the option of the flowchart. So you can see we do this right here and we can provide a specific prompt within the available space of AI to automatically generate a flowchart across the canvas. Well, eDraw Max's template gallery and customization options are not limited. This is a separate fan base in the generation of content and graphics. You can see right here, I'm typing create an HR recruitment process flowchart. There should be fewer than 10 steps. And then after I press that, I'm able to take advantage of this amazing AI. And you can see it created it absolutely immediately. So to learn more about how to make a flowchart with ChatGPT and eDraw Max, stay tuned to our channel and we'll talk to you in the next video.